What is good, everyone? Welcome back. This is Lifted Noise. My name is Raul. What I do here on the channel is NPC standalone beat making videos and tutorials. Uh, what I'm doing today is actually looking over a NPC expansion from NPCSamples.com called the Orchestral Pro Edition. When I first started making beats and first started using, NPC, using NPCs, the NPC forums was a great resource for me. Alongside in association with NPC forums is NPCSamples.com, which I bought a lot of samples from early on. I was just uh, kind of browsing the forums the other day and I saw a link for the Orchestra Pro Edition and it sparked my interest. So what I did was uh, I used some of this lifted noise clout that I've built up over the years and I contacted Tudor who runs NPC forums and NPCSamples.com, asked him if he would kindly send me a copy to do a review. Uh, hopefully, Tudor, you don't mind me disclosing that. So I got a copy and uh, first of all, I want to look at the website and just kind of go over some of the things that are included as far as the description goes here on npcsamples.com. All right, here we go. So this is the NPC Orchestral Pro Edition from npcsamples.com. Uh, the cost of it is $39.99 US dollars. Uh, so scrolling down, let's just, I'm going to read the description here. MPC Orchestra Pro Edition features a complete multi-sampled chamber orchestra in MPC expansion format, all recorded directly from the original acoustic instruments built for optimized playback in all modern MPCs and the Akai Force. Whether you need an immense string sections, haunting woodwinds, powerful brass stabs, or haunting piano lines, this epic expansion has you covered with an incredible 54 orchestral articulations recorded from 28 different acoustic instruments. All right, so here's the list. We got strings. Within the strings, we got solo instruments like the violin, viola, and then you have sections like the cello, contrabass, uh, harp. And then we got wind instruments, flute, alto flute, bass flute, clarinet, bass clarinet, as you can see, etc. Keys. For the keys, we got an orchestral grand piano and a harpsichord. I'm definitely going to be trying this out with the harpsichord. Uh, it's one of my favorite instruments. Just love the sound of it. And then with brass, we got a tuba, a tenor, a trombone, and a trumpet. If you've been around the channel, you know I like messing around with trumpets. So I'll most likely grab that and test that out. All right, melodic percussions. We got a xylophone, we got a vibraphone, celesta, marimba, brass bells, glockenspiel. And then there is an orchestral drum kit featuring bass drum, snares, cymbals, maracas, tambourine, shakers, skins, and various other percussion sounds. Most instruments are provided with multiple articulations to provide different playing styles with wind and brass, including sustain and staccato, while most strings include sustain, pizzicato, spiccato, and tremolo. The combinations of these different articulation gives incredibly realistic results. All right, so I got the pack right here loaded up in my expansion section. And for my standalone people, yes, there's a standalone version that's included, so you can just drag and drop in your expansion folder on whatever drive you got it so just taking a look what's inside we got brass instruments we got keys percussion strings so we got the sections so a lot of stuff here the different articulations as well string viola section spiccato sustain tremolo pizzicato and then we have this for the violin as well. So there's a lot of different programs with different types of articulations. Uh, wind instruments. Really cool. Lots and lots of stuff to choose from here. Probably not going to go through everything. I think the first thing I want to do is go back to percussion. I want to make a beat in this video. And I do have a drum beat already. And I want to like spice it up with some of the here. So there's an orchestral kit. And so I got the percussion orchestral kit loaded up. I just want to go through real quick and see what we got. How many banks we got? Okay, so two banks, but I want to take a deeper look because I already noticed and in the description it says that, you know, we got some articulations and velocity layer. So taking a look right here, it looks like the drum pack 
is making use of the four velocity layers for most of these. Some of them just got a couple layers. This is like a tambourine. See, that's pretty cool. I mean, it gives for a lot more natural, realistic feel for, so like, if I was just like to keep this velocity on full level, just kind of getting that, that's more of a mechanical sound because just one sample being triggered. Um, so let me see, let me take a look at it. So yeah, for right here, you can see uh, that these, the layers are um, programmed to be triggered at different velocities. So the top one is from like when you hit it at between 103 and 127. And then you see the next layer from between 76 and 102. So there's a big difference. Well, so I think that's really, really, really nice. All right, so let's make a beat. I've got this drum pattern. I think I want to add some of these snares, like use these as snare rolls. Pitch it up. Check out some of these keys. First, starting with this orchestral grand. I actually really like the tone of that. I want to go into the, uh, just going through the different key groups. It looks like the piano has a couple different velocity layers. So just two samples per key group. Yeah, I, I really like the tone of that. It sounds nice. I'm going to check out the harpsichord now. As I said, I would. One of my favorite sounding instruments. So actually just go and look into going into here to look at the velocity layers. So there's only one sample, which is actually really not a surprise to me. I had looked into it a while back when I like first realized I like the sound of the harpsichord. The harpsichord is actually different from a piano and though although it's a keyboard instrument, it doesn't use like a piano little hammers to strike strings that are inside the piano. It actually plucks it kind of like a guitar. So there's no really velocity articulation, like if you were playing a piano, you know? So it's just the same. It's actually accurate just to have one, one layer in there. You're not really getting the articulations that you would with a piano, like I said. So I won't go through every single instrument, but I'll go through a few from each category just so you can get an idea. This right here is a brass tenor trombone. Okay, stops there. We got a trumpet sustain. Nothing over here. Cool. So as it stated in the description for the pack, it says that the actual real instruments were sampled and this was programmed for the NPC. So you're getting the, the legit key ranges 
Um, from my experience, like using sound modules or some virtual instruments is that you'll get an instrument patch and it'll be spread across all the keys, which isn't necessarily accurate because most instruments, if it's not a piano, won't have a key range of a full piano, right? So this makes it very realistic having this already programmed in a way that's true to life. Uh, this is a French horn staccato. Here are a few of the uh, key groups from the percussive percussion instruments. Okay, so moving on to the strings. Here's my cello section, pizzicato. I got the spiccato, cello, sustain, sustain tremolo, contra bass, pizzicato, spiccato, sustain, sounds nice. Tremolo. I love tremolo. That's dope. Okay. Got a harp. Going through the violas. Violin. Solo violin to sustain articulation. All right, so I'm feeling this cello section, spiccato. Okay. So I'm gonna double up on that harpsichord. So yeah, that's all the wind instruments, and that's pretty much what's in the pack. I wanted to at least go through and play the previews of most of these. So what I need is a melody to finish this beat out. Yes.
right, so, you know, I wanted to thank Tudor. Thank you very much for sending this over to me. And I wanted to state this just because at the beginning of the video, I, I mentioned that I used some of my lifted noise clout in order to get this expansion for review. The reason why I wanted to include that in the video is because what I wanna do on my channel isn't just about doing tutorials or doing uh, production videos or whatever it is I do. I've also wanted this to be a place where I somewhat do vlogs that document my journey towards reaching a goal of you know making music and making my passion a career. So I wanna be as open as possible as I can about how that's going. So I gotta thank you, Tudor, not only for sharing this pack, which is awesome. I think the sounds are really great. You know, it's got a realism to it. And um, I appreciate the sound and the quality of it. But on top of that, I gotta thank you because you said yes, me communicating to you was my attempts to get something, I guess, to try to see the fruits of my, of my work. Uh, return to me so you are actually the first to say yes as far as a product and sending it my way at my um, request so I thank you for that and everyone I just want to I wanted to let that out so y'all can be encouraged that this is a possibility and I just want to show you guys kind of the route and how it's going for myself so um, yeah I'll leave it at that man it's a great pack uh, I recommend you guys pick it up uh, it's npcsamples.com also go check out npcforums.com um, if you got questions all about NPCs. So that's it. I appreciate you guys joining me. Yeah, until next time, to the next video, everyone stay humble, lift noise, and God bless.